Hello everyone. In today's video, I will continue what uh, I have started uh, last week regarding uh, making a Dynamo course uh, for beginners. And as you can see from this slide, uh, we are in lecture number two. Actually, this is the third video as I am splitting, uh, you know, each lecture into smaller parts in order to keep the time frame that I promise you to stay within 10 to 15 minutes for each video. Uh, anyway, uh, here we have uh, lots of uh, slides. It's like a 37 slides almost. And it's a part of, uh, a part of the presentation that I gave uh, at the municipality of Sharjah here in UAE. And I would love to share this uh, a part of a presentation again uh, with you guys. And specifically uh, in order to answer the very common question that why we need to learn Dynamo and some people ask it the other way around saying that where are we going to use it and what type of a real life examples that we can you know uh, use Dynamo in it uh, before I start again please don't forget to uh, you know uh, uh, like and subscribe and share the content of this YouTube as that will be significantly uh, you know, get a, a wider view and push the uh, YouTube channel to, you know, a better place. So please support this channel as it's a free and its main uh, main target is to just, uh, you know, provide you with this uh, free, humble knowledge that I gain. Uh, again, uh, what else? Um, again, just to, to state that the words and the pictures knowledge and specifically the architectural and interior design and engineering work have shown here in this uh, presentation it's not my personal work not all of it of course and it goes forever for for those who actually design it and i'll try to mention as much as i can from the personals uh, personnel and the companies that work and they have the own the proper the the you know that the the ownership of this knowledge and these pictures so just to state that these are not all my work and i am just here presenting their work and giving some links and credits for them for doing that i'm here doing this video just for you know the knowledge uh, and educational purposes only anyhow so where again we use dynamo and uh you know the fields and, and 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 why we have to learn it and do we have and what level of of uh, the aec that we can apply it it's a it's a very wide question to answer and it's you can be in an urban and architectural space of planning facade designing cladding uh it's all those it's actually not all it's i just as much as i can squeeze here in this presentation i can go more and that's because I always get this question of why I have to learn Dynamo and what's the benefit of it. So the first topic to talk about is, you know, the using or the, actually the, the ability to use it in urban and planning scale. And one of the best uh, example that I have here is uh, for uh, the architect uh, Zuhar Hadid and Zuhar, sorry, Zuhar Hadid Architects. And as you can see in, in, this is, in these slides, it's just uh, an, on um, urban scale. Uh, uh, as a design and as a functional distribution for the entire district. And I also prepared the videos. Uh, actually, most of them have reflected back here in the videos with a muted sound. Again, that's the channel and that's the own, the own contact. I'm just showing you, uh, you know, like uh, how uh, it can help and increase dramatically, you know, the speed of the design. And can you see from the analysis of this, uh, site and finding the main roads out of it and how uh, the architect can uh, use the computer to help and to know the better uh, connection if, if they want to you know connect the east and west side of that and how the road can be generated uh, what are the best roads and leaving the computer to know and to state the definition of those roads uh, to connect the specific nodes that the designer want to achieve and connect between them and you can see how that can be left into a designed area to be filled in the urban fabric. So the process here, the optimization here to find the best route and then to decide how to, you know, where is to put the orient, where is to put the height and where is to put the building area and how high it is and all that can be you now done in, in a generative mode in Dynamo. Uh, again, you see now that the grid and how it's been distorted for the, you know, the built area 
and the possibilities of the height and the possibilities of the form that can be generated in uh, in a such uh, you know in a such example uh, in a such area I mean so again this not not by necessarily going to be done in Dynamo just to, again to state that uh, that lots of work that I show you is either Dynamo or Grasshopper uh, as far as I know from the you know generative design platform. I believe this is specifically is Grasshopper. I'm not really quite sure, but uh, it's not look. It doesn't look like uh, you know uh, Dynamo. Anyhow, uh, so that's uh, that's for more urban design uh, than you know urban uh, you know uh, as a functional distribution of the urban or urban planning. And uh, this uh, example again is for Omar Helmi and the the sources YouTube channel. Please have a look at the sources and the references that I have at the end of this lecture. I'll try also to copy paste them in the YouTube comment bar so you can have a look of each resources. Again, I highly highly advise you to have a look at this channel. It's a beautiful channel. And as you can see, for example, in a smaller area, if we compare that to the first example for Zaha Hadid Architects. You can see here that a small neighborhood or small area that he has those that the rectangle, of course, and uh, that's a grasshopper. By the way, it's not Dynamo, but I believe 100% that uh, I can do the same, and anyone can do the same thing here in Dynamo. So no matter of the uh, the type of the platform, but again, uh, the answer here just goes for Dynamo and the same generative design platforms. So if you have this piece of land and that's the main road and you don't have a specification that to divide uh, you know, the width of the building, there's a setback as you can see, let's say like a four or five meter and then the width of the built area maybe like 20 and then the entire left over should be a garden or should be you know, a green spaces. Uh, designing this manually will be you know, a, a significant waste of time specifically if you have more than one uh, more than one uh, building uh, area or, or, or landlot here, as you can see. So if you have an algorithm here, if you have your good knowledge in Dynamo, you can design that. You can, it's, it's a repetitive process. So you can design the node here to, you know, understand this parameter you want, and then it divide that based on the road, and then creates, you know, based on the overall area or the distance, it depends on the parameter you feed. Uh, to design it to a smaller area and then inside each district here it will be divided as you can see. The beauty of it, this will be shown again uh, why I am in this page anyway. I, as you can see I'm you know having lots of pages here opened and that's really bad for my round. See uh, with all respect and all uh, you know for this great guy Omar and how he actually you know, in his channel, uh, thankfully showing us, um, and I selected this for a great work he did. And you can see that you have this land, this four line clicks, and then he generated the, the grasshopper. And I will repeat that because you might, you know, you know, miss it. You see how fast run, click, and voila, you know. You, you have the whole thing done in a couple of seconds. I still have, you know, my head around some people arguing why do we need to learn and it's, it's uh, imagine you do this manually and you see he can change, not even just he can did the design and that's it, but also he can change the road or the change the boundary of the land and you can get the result automatically updated for you. So there is no way ever, and this is, this is by the way type of automation, uh, automated work or automated design, there is no way ever you can compete with that if you want to do it in 3D Studio Max and AutoCAD in any way and that's the beauty of the generative design and that's why again you have to learn in my point of view uh, dynamism you can solve a repetitive problem uh, like the one that we have yes he might he have some bugs in here but again it's uh, it can be fixed i believe uh specifically depend on you see the, the you know the strength of the curvature you just fix it and it goes perfectly as you can see here uh, so thanks for for that nice video, uh, Mr. Omar. Again, uh, the second factor that's for the urban design and urban planning. Now the second factor for or the second answer or the second 
area where we can create uh, or need to use Dynamo is the architectural form. And I divided here into a group of uh, samples and examples, sorry, and you can see the architectural form, for example, you can make it, you can use it to create a complex organic uh, and complex geometries. Uh, that's very sad because most of the people think when you say generative design, they think of the complex architecture and, and orga organic architecture. Just to be honest with you, it's, it's just a, a, one of the misconceptions. Generative design can do lots of things, not only to generate complicated or organic modeling. Organic modeling has been way long back, and you can do it in 3D Studio Max and, and lots of other softwares. But what you see here, and, and, and that's for Lava Architects, and I, 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 I was the, having the honor to meet Tobias uh, himself uh, at Ajman University a couple of years ago, and he, he helped us to share the knowledge of how they made this uh, the design. Of course, they made it in Grasshopper, but I remade, again, it's the remodeling. That's my remodeling only, as I stated here. The whole credit goes for Lava and uh, the, 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 the great people working in, the, in, in their office. And uh, you, you can see now this is a remodeling of it in, in, in Dynamo. And you can know that uh, the, the making of ultimate form possibilities here, uh, the gentleman was explaining for us how uh, thankfully, how you can get endless possibilities of each, uh, of each profile of each plan, and then you generate like hundreds or thousands of tower possibilities as a form by ab the ability to design the design process itself rather than designing the form and letting the computer actually design for us. So you are to design the procedure, not the form. The form might get something really different. Uh, from what you think. Uh, that's the video I, I have. It's, it's I done this video on my personal channel. And as you can see, each plan have a different section to get this. Uh, that's the proposal, by the way, in Abu Dhabi, uh, in United Arab Emirates, one of the, uh, one of the uh, design proposals uh, for, a, for a project here, for a tower. And again, uh, I, just, uh, I just need to show you quickly what I meant by, uh, you know, having a parametric plan, or let me be more specific, this is not a plan, this is more like a parametric outline. Uh, oh God, that's the resulted tower, and that's what I meant. See, each one of those beauties here are just, uh, it's just a, a parametric outline. So you can change in each one of them based on the parameter provided, and you can get endless results of, you know, towers. Uh, let me, where is the part? Yeah, this one, see? So that's one of the shape, and you have, you know, the ability, to, you know, like a couple of circles here, and cylinders, sorry, circles and curved, and you can change a parameter, and you can get a different plan. Of course, with a couple of, you know, erroring thing, and I'm, I'm fixing it here, but the idea, see this, now it's a different plan. And having the ability to change, to get a different, almost infinite amount of, uh, you know, plans or outlines can create infinite shapes, specifically if you feed that into an Autodesk refinery and make the computer try to create different shapes and different plans, as you can see. Why you design one form, why you design one plan, if you can design hundreds of them by using Autodesk Refinery and Autodesk Dynamo, and then you come back and pick whatever you think suitable for you. Uh, that's uh, thankfully for them, for, uh, the, for Lava Architects, and for Mr. Tobias also for explaining this for us about uh, two years from now. Again, uh, architectural form, and then the multiple uh, form generator. This is um, a, a stadium, I think, in China. And I, again, remodeled uh, the whole, it's a very basic uh, stage out of it. It's not really the same thing. But I wanted to show you here even, and, 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 and here we call it Project Fractal. Now it's, it's a refinery anyway. That's old video like two years ago, I think. And you can see on this left side how many possible, how many, you know, stadium, hello. That's not part of the thing, trust me. Where can I hit escape? Escape, thank you. And you can see that's on this side, how many propo design proposals for the stadium that I can get. 
if I just design those one, two, three, four rings or circles that have those, you know, vertex, I can control how many vertex I have and I control the height of the vertex. And then I feed that uh, from Dynamo to Autodesk Refinery and I can get, the, you know, almost like, I can't remember, it's like a 10,000 or something stadium. And I can go ahead and pick which one I like and you see each one, you, you see how many type how many design proposal and you still you still want to do that in 3d studio max for example or even in rivet but on a fixed state mode no you, you, you need you need to experience you need to develop your design ability to master the ability to create like an like a hundreds of possibilities and then you let yourself get which one is the best and maybe submit more like five or six proposals rather than only you know one get that back to rivet and then you get cladded with adaptive component or whatever anyway i don't want to go uh too long the video is here in my channel if you want to have a look at it uh feel free and uh, now it's 16 almost minute i don't want to exceed that uh the third example here is the functional design so by the functional design you can go from designing a unit and then let that to go design the entire entire urban area uh, that goes for Mazen uh, Ghazal, I think it's a YouTube channel also. Uh, that's one of the most beautiful work I saw. Uh, that's the gentleman and that's the work and you can see that he actually can control, you know, infinite almost amount of possibilities in a specific design or a specific land area. And then, you know, Dynam it's, I think it's a grasshopper. I'm not really quite sure by the way, but it's not Dynamo. So he can design the unit, and then from designing the unit, he can just, within the parameter that he provide, he can go ahead and, you know, apply that for a bigger area, and then to generate the entire urban, you know, you can see here, KL for the kitchen and, and a living room out of that, and, you know, keep repeating the whole thing based on changing the land itself, and leaving the computer to redesign the whole, uh, whole thing for us. That's one of the most... Uh, really nice again for functional design in 3d uh, lots of parameters you can see here he's actually repeating the same node on a on a different lot and it's just i have no not enough word to describe the beauty you see he draw the lot and immediately within the parameter that he provide we can or actually the node can design for us the whole thing until you design the whole district have a look at this video it's beautiful by the way Anyway, so that's the part of the functional design. Uh, yep, you can here design a floor, and by designing the floor, then you can go back and design the entire flat. Sorry, each each flat out of the floor. Uh, that's for AI architecture intelligence. I couldn't find the YouTube, uh, although it's uh, I don't know. So uh, I don't know. I, I should have um, you know. Uh, search more maybe, but that's the name of the channel. Have a look at it. Uh, what else? Uh, this one. Again, it's functional design, but this time to generate almost infinite amount of plans out of, you know, giving the specific parameters like what's the area of the plan, the width of the overall thing. Uh, that's for Martin Stacy, and that's the video. I always look at up for that guy look at the beauty of his work and uh, it's almost endless you know he can change the parameter here the area of each room and the, the system can give him the possible the possible plans for that okay you want to design manually this one uh, that's very sad if you want to do if you want to design that manually so that's that's what I'm trying, you know, to that's the whole purpose of this lecture. I wanted to show you the possibilities of things you can do. You know, the same thing goes for the facade design. Uh, that's also provided on my channel. Uh, not this one, of course. Uh, so you can design facade design, different possibilities. Okay. Uh, again, uh, complex geometries, complex facade. You can go ahead and, uh, you know, have a structural design. And I will make sure that this is the last thing for today. I will have to split after that. Again, it's uh, learn of it in five minutes, uh, parametric trust system for 
Naiko G, again, great guy and very powerful uh, tutorial here in, in, in Revit. I'm not quite sure he used Dynamo, but uh, I believe he did not use Dynamo and he made that all in uh, Revit uh, families and conceptual massing, but you can use the same techniques uh, in order uh, inside uh, Dynamo, by the way. And uh, but the point, look, when he changed, he's able to change the curve of the surface, and immediately you get the truss or the lattice system, or structural system, actually that he has uh, in a couple of seconds. And, and if you want to do that manually, again, uh, so w whatever the field you are in, urban designer, urban planner, architect, if the architect conceptualization. Now I remember conceptualization. I have to add it to the list and uh, structural design also you're gonna need to use uh, Dynamo uh, indeed uh, as a, a good platform for you to uh, you know you know design uh, much more uh, you know much more uh, uh, proposals and way much more faster anyway I will start up as I promised I don't want to go actually I go 20 minutes and that's uh, too long so I will continue with the rest of the life example and answering those two important questions don't forget guys to like and comment uh, for and share everything you can uh, really depending on your support thank you very much and have a good day bye bye